Hey everyone, welcome to Old Man Gaming. Remember, if you enjoyed today's stream, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. Hey, good morning everybody, welcome back to Old Man Gaming, my name is Rob and this is Ark Survival Ascended 30, the series where we ask the question, realistically just how far could a solo player get if he plays just 30 minutes a day? Okay, so yesterday we uh, got the ingredients together for a uh, cryo fridge, so let's just double check that now. Yep, metal ingots, crystal, electronics, and polymer. Wonderful. So we have all of those. So we are now going to try and get to our raft. And get this cryo fridge down. If we can, we need to get to a raft so we can actually find a drop. Now there is a drop that drops here occasionally, but I don't remember actually seeing it for a while. Oh, wow. Um, food and water is quite low. Why is that? I ate a lot of food before I went to sleep. I'm thinking we should maybe... get some food for the journey. I'm actually playing today a lot earlier than I normally do. Um, and I've noticed there's a lot more players on than there should be at this time of day. I mean, we're talking like pre-7 a.m. in the morning for me right now. It's, like, it's just not even 7 a.m. yet. And there are more players on than what are usually on. When I talk, we usually record this a little bit, you know, usually a few hours from now I usually record this. Uh, but I woke up early and I thought, oh, let's, let's get it done, let's go. Get it done straight away. 
because it can be a bit of a chore trying to do this every day. Um, remembering just to slot in 30 minutes and to, to get it recorded, but uh, there are more players on the server than any other time. Maybe with the exception of maybe the weekend. Which makes me wonder, where are they from? Because, well, I suppose it could be mainland Europe, because they're like an hour ahead of me. So there could be a lot of people maybe just coming on and doing some stuff before work and all that. I guess mainland Europe are now ahead of me at least, so... Let's go over the wall, we wasted five minutes. So we can go find a drop. We'll go head towards Herbivore Island because there's an area near Herbivore Island where there's like a cluster of drops that drop down. could actually drive this raft. problem is being on the Xbox Series S there is no beacon light anymore so I have to actually look to a drop unless the update yesterday fixed that I mean I'll have to investigate that I haven't actually properly investigated why there's no beacon light maybe there's a setting that I need to But there isn't, and I can't control the server settings on the official server, so... So no, it's not a setting that I can control, unless it's a... Some sort of user setting. But it makes finding drops on the Xbox Series S extremely difficult compared to everyone else because I don't get to see the shaft of light come down. Go. Well, that was quick and easy. 
So we'll just head back to the last. Sorry about all the markers on the screen there. requires placement on the floor since when there's a ceiling you're telling me you can't place these i've been planning on playing in this on the raft the entire time and now you're telling me i can't oh god so you can't place them on rafts That's, that's, that is disappointing. Shit, now I need to figure out where I want to place it. This whole time I've been planning on pulling the prior freak on the raft and you can't. You can't put prior freakers on there. Should be another raft of mine over there.
I could slip in there before. berries in my stole steel from um, you know, what you call that hot bar position you know so if I get attacked by a bloody pego or whatever I'll take the berry out of the bar slot right so right so can we just go on to the ramp Just go on the ground. Let's see if we can get a little bit creative with putting it somewhere where it's not easily seen. Sort of worked. Let's have a look at the orbit, orbit camera here. works, I guess. Hmm. 
Okay, well that works. It does mean another waypoint, unfortunately. <laughs> Next to twenty minutes. Forks, and then we have to go back to the raft. So I didn't think far enough ahead. What is that zero of 40 max allowed structures in the area? Why is that possible? Where's that come from? For a while with my other base as well. I might need to do a quick fast travel today if I can. And uh, just visit the other base, keep it alive, because I, I still would like to perhaps use it. If I ever reach a point where I can defend it, and I'm not with 23 and a half hours a day without me being here. <laughs> Sometimes you can get oil from those.
25 minutes, okay. How close do you have to be to a cryo fridge? And does it need to be powered? See, that's the other thing. Does a cryo fridge need to be powered? I know it needs to be powered to store them. But does it need, uh, you know, to store them long term, like so the cryo fridges, the cryo balls recharge? <gasps> but for usage. This is not working for me. I thought I didn't think they had to be powered. So they have to be powered. Now oh, I can't pick it up. Uh, Gonna have to put the generator down within range of the cryo fridge. It's one thing after another. I I, I was wrong. I, I thought you could use them to deploy, but. You couldn't use them to um, to store, you know, and recharge without power. I guess I was wrong on that as well then. It's, you could probably hear just the. Uh, <laughs> in my voice I was just keen to get started with my little pterodon which I've worked so hard to get okay alright well it looks like we're going to be finishing a little bit early today because I'm not going to be starting a next adventure so thank you for watching <laughs> uh, we're about two minutes short of the 30 minute mark uh, I will just have to try again tomorrow uh, currently I'm releasing these to the general public every second day just so I can have a little try and increase the time between what I do and what you guys see However, if you would like to see uh, these videos on the day of release, all you have to do is become a member of the channel here on YouTube. Just join up and members get to see the videos on the actual day I film them, which is today. Uh, but for everyone else at this stage, yeah, it will be a while before you get to see this. Not that it matters to you, because once you watch this, you're up to date as far as you're concerned. But anyway... But that's it from me for today. Please, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like button for me. Consider subscribing and I will catch you all next time. Until then, bye for now.